Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a common condition that is acute abdominal pain. As nurses, we, will, we come across a number of people complaining as stomach pain or it is the acute abdominal pain which is a symptom of many types of tissue injury and can arise from damage to abdominal or pelvic organs and blood vessels. The common etiological factors are it could arise due to inflammatory conditions such as appendicitis, cholecystitis, Crohn's disease, gastritis, pancreatitis, pyelonephritis, ulcerative colitis. Abdominal pain can also arise due to vascular problems which could occur due to ruptured aortic aneurysm, mesenteric vascular occlusion. It can be seen even in certain gynecological conditions such as pelvic inflammatory disease, ruptured ectopic pregnancy or, or ruptured ovarian cyst. Other conditions that cause the abdominal pain are infectious diseases which are caused by E. coli, Giardia and Salmonella and others could be due to obstruction or perforation of abdominal organ, gastrointestinal bleeding and trauma. As nurses, what will be our assessment findings? So you will notice that there is a diffused, localized, dull, burning or sharp abdominal pain or tenderness. There could be rebound tenderness which you can see in conditions of appendicitis. Common uh, symptom that is seen is the abdominal distension. The abdomen becomes rigid. There will be presence of nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hematemesis and melina. The further assessment findings as the disease progresses it could be symptoms of hypovolumic shock, which is noticed in as decreased blood pressure, decreased pulse pressure, tachycardia, cool, clammy skin, decreased level of consciousness, and decreased uh, urine output, wherein the urine output will be less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour. In common, the nursing diagnosis, I, I have stated here some of the nursing diagnosis. These may be limited. Besides this, this there could be few more. The, so the common ones are acute pain related to inflammation of the peritoneum and abdominal distension, risk for deficient fluid volume related to collection of fluid in peritoneal cavity, secondary to inflammation or infection, Imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements related to anorexia, nausea and vomiting and anxiety related to pain and uncertainty of cause or outcome of the condition. The nursing interventions in the initial stage will definitely be, be that you ensure patent airway, administer oxygen via nasal cannula or non-rebreather mask, Establish IV access with large bore catheter and infuse warm normal saline or lactated ringer solution. Insert additional large bore catheter if shock is present. Obtain blood for CBC and electrolytes. Anticipate order for amylase level, pregnancy tests, clotting studies and type and cross match as appropriate. Insert indwelling urinary catheter and obtain urine analysis. Insert nasogastric tube as needed. The further interventions could be ongoing monitoring, which is very important. As nurses, we should definitely monitor for the vital signs, level of consciousness, oxygen saturation, and intake output. Assess the quality and amount of pain. Assess amount and character of MSS. And, and in many of the cases, we as nurses, we need to anticipate for a surgical intervention. And for that, you keep the patient nil per orally. Thank you.